Good evening, everyone. My name is Kaled, and welcome to the first night of DevLog. Today, we're going to be talking about the, uh, the the history of my current project and its future. So, as you can see right here, we have a thing called Two Prism Tactics, uh, named after the uh, the Two Prism from Gods of Fate, the Square Enix PlayStation exclusive that came out in like 1999. Uh, this right here is a fan adaptation of the game and is exists only as a uh, web application over github.io github pages so basically the game is um it, it's class driven um we have a large variety of classes you take one class level one at level two you expect to take another one start mix and matching the abilities and come up with a really powerful game breaking uh game breaking combination and um, it's a it's a tabletop role playing game that's meant to be played over the computer, although you can play it in person. I've been testing it for about two years now, my second campaign, and I'm ready to move it on to the next part. The next part is going to be turning it into a, a, a its own IP. I'm going to be painting over all the names, making sure that you know it can't be copyright stricken, as well as refining the classes, refining the mechanics. And making it its own realized thing. To do that, I'm also going to go out and above to make it a dynamic website. What we have right here with all the classes is a lot of, um, you know, kind of trickery, XML calls and stuff like that. Uh, simple stuff that doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm going to develop my own database. Uh, I have all the stuff kind of lit, great, uh, laid out here. This is just what I've gotten done today. I'm going to do more. We have our five major tables held together by the class registry. And you can see kind of here, just a, just a data testing that I'm doing. And then uh, to help uh, accelerate the process, I've written a, uh, a backend device called the class master. And its purpose is to allow me to enter in classes by hand or to transfer existing classes, uh, parse them from their previously formatted text files and insert them into the database. Uh, everything here works today. Um, write our own classes, like, you know, songwriter um, or whatever, give them the subtitle, write everything about them here, enter in their stats, um, and then hit add class. It's just pausing for a second, make sure everything's correct, make, linking up to the database, and, um, Everything that is good is marked green. If all green, it goes to the database. We can actually see it over here. We'll just refresh, refresh this. And now Songwriter has been added. Uh, so after this, once everything is working and the database is taken care of, everything on the back end, I'm going to start working on the front end. The front end is going to be done in Angular. Uh, the back end, as you can see, is going to be done in uh, ASP.NET. Uh, reason for this is that they just seem they're, they're both pretty popular and I want to get good at popular things so that way I have the chance of actually getting hired. Uh, yes, that's actually the purpose of this project beyond just entertaining people. I want something to put on my portfolio so that way, you know, I have that 20 years of experience that everyone's looking for. Um, so I'm going to keep you on the uh, up and now for the next uh, few days or few weeks, however long this takes me. And uh, we're going to get this get this done and finished and uh, have a beautiful project to show off. All in all, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.